All right, uh, buddy. I I I know you you we we should call you Ally, okay, or Ally, or or how how should we Ellie. address you? That Ellie, yeah. yeah. Okay, Ally, not Ally. Ally will be the book of. Well, that 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 is the still still the book of part of the Bible, isn't it? <laughs> the book of yeah. Ally, the book of Ally. Okay. Guess so. All right, all right. So uh, I think uh, first of all, we we want to make this uh, announcement. Okay, uh, welcome to the core development group. This is the first time. Uh, Thank you. Yeah, this is the first time in our entire life we promoted somebody. Okay, when I say first time in the entire life, this goes through a very very long history. When I say very very long history, this includes the time when we uh, you know, I I I'm 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 with uh, Vian Sec. I'm I'm still with uh, VN Sec, VN uh, Vietnam Security Group, and uh, we started uh, Capstone. We started a uh, uh, we started a unicorn engine, we started Keystone engine, okay, and then of course uh, now a Chilling Framework, okay. Uh, each of us, uh, of course, uh, 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 these three, the 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 first three project, Capstone, Keystone, and uh, Unicorn engine is led by a uh, Queen. Dr. Quinn, he's in uh, Singapore right now. And uh, of course, uh, I'm, I'm the founder and I'm the guy that started Achillium Framework. All right. Uh, and we work together very closely uh, for 15, 15, 20 years, maybe. This is the first time. Oh. Yeah, this is the first time we promote somebody which we never met before. And uh, I guess uh, this is a rather tough decision from our side. I mean, we, we propose and we discuss <laughs> internally. Yes, the, the thing is, uh, I think for open source project, we do need to uh, worry about, you know, the entire reputation or is there any uh, chances, you know, people that we never meet before, could it be a chance, uh, you know, this guy put in some dirty codes and all these things. So. So uh, yes, yes. Uh, we had a discussion and then, uh, you know, by looking at, at your contribution, we do really think that, you know, uh, it's a pleasure for us to invite you in to the group. And again, uh, welcome to the core development Thank you. team. Yep. Your name is up there already if in, in the dev branch. Great. Yeah. Uh, once we uh, finish the, uh, uh, the MCU, uh, PR merging, then uh, we will call for release, then uh, all the codes will, will, will merge into uh, the, 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 the main branch. Okay, so uh, after the welcome, uh, after the announcement, after the welcome note, please tell us uh, a little bit about yourself. You can talk about previous work and uh, our, our common friend, you know, that we know back, way back when, when, when you're in uh, Intel. So t tell us a little um... bit more about yourself here. Yeah. Yeah, well, first, uh, thank you for having me. Um, I guess that would be a tough decision, you know, to let something uh, or to let someone in that you haven't that you haven't met before, uh, at least in person. Um, yeah. Uh, so thanks for that. Thanks for, so uh, thanks for the um, for the uh, you know for the honor. Uh, I I really I really respect that. Um, anyway, I'm I'm Ellie. Uh, I'm I live I live in Israel. I'm 38 years old. Um, I don't know if uh, anybody else is that old on that project, or I'm the I'm the oldest one. I'm I'm 19. I'm 1981, so I'm two years older than you. <laughs> okay. And it, it's not so I'm in a, and Queen I'm in, in a good place. Yeah, you you you're in a good place. Queen Queen is the oldest. Doctor Queen is the oldest. The the one that uh, the one that uh, founded the uh, Unicorn Engine. Yeah. He's old. Yeah. He's picky on code. He he bitch about all the spacing, all the tap or whatever thing that he can <laughs> bitch. Can, he will, he I, will bitch about I can it. I can be that too. Yeah. I, I, uh... <laughs> I, I can I can I, I can understand that. <laughs> I can understand that. Uh, anyway, uh, I've been in the um, uh, firmware and uh, hardware security uh, for quite some time for for more than ten or eleven years now. Mm -hmm. um, worked. Uh, I worked some time for Intel, a few years. 
uh, now I'm working for Microsoft, even though there, there is no uh, there is no relation between uh, Microsoft and uh, this project whatsoever. Mm -hmm. I do that in my you know uh, in my free time. Uh, that's uh, something I you know I enjoy doing. Um, and um, since I I I work uh, in 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 my in my current role, I work a lot with UEFI and uh, improving security of UEFI. Um, then that's that's how I met Chilling. Uh, I came across that I think around uh, January this year. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. I think uh, when there was a big announcement of um, the EFI first project. Mm -hmm. Uh, that other guys were doing, and they announced, "Hey, we can emulate UEFI code. We can fuzz it. Uh, here's how we do that." That was very interesting. Then I, you know, I took a look. Uh, I wanted to know how it how it works because I know that firmware emulation is kind of hard, and uh, that's a really big thing. If you can test, or you can, or you can trace, or you can emulate firmware. Uh, that should be something really cool. Uh, I, I just wanted to, you know, I just wanted to take a look. Um, when uh, I was back in Intel, we had some nice toys that we that we could use, you know, to debug the hardware. We could do just, you know, uh, single stepping through firmware. And now I don't have now I don't have those toys anymore. So emulating firmware or or uh, emulating UEFI is something that I really I really need. Um, so I started, you know, I started looking at the code. Uh, I wanted to understand how it does what it does, and um, you know, just so hey, that's that piece of code. I can I can write it um, in a different way. I can adjust this part to my need, I can do that and I can do this. And before I knew it, uh, <laughs> I just made a tons of, uh, of modifications. Um, at start, I didn't really think about contributing. I thought, oh, well, I just, you know, have my own project uh, because nobody really cares about that, uh, about that uh, specific little niche of uh, emulating UEFI. Um, but then I realized that um, I could I could I could contribute those those uh, those changes and and uh, make a difference to the project. Uh, so that's that's how I got in into the project. Um, since then, I was looking around, wanted to better understand how it works. Um, and I started improving several parts, and uh, this is this is very interesting because it lets you understand how things work on Linux, on Windows, uh, some other stuff uh, that you don't usually work with or not at that level. Uh, so when you dig into into that code, you better understand how they. How they work, and uh, that's that's really interesting. Uh, well, the, the the second question, uh, the second question that we have on the list supposed to be uh, how do you discover cheating framework? And I think I think you. More I think we check that. Yeah, yeah, you check <laughs> that. You check that, and then uh, you know what 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 makes you want to uh, contribute to a, a cheating framework? You know a. It's a, uh, it's a, uh, I don't know. It's a, uh, it's a, uh, it, it, is, is, is that the code is so fucked up that you think you should continue, <laughs> <laughs> or, 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 you think uh, it's a good project that worth your time to contribute, or, or, you know, no, what, what, what do you, what, what makes you, what, what is your motivation behind the whole contributing? Uh, I have been, uh, I have been uh, in an open source project for 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 long enough you know we i mean i don't really involve in uh, in a capstone keystone uh, uh unicorn time you know we as as a team member uh queen is the one that uh, did most of the job and then uh, you know we we use it and then uh, we give comments you know we rely on him to change the code and all these things 
And uh, we do know that open source, either running an open source project or getting involved in an open source project, it's a time consuming and it doesn't help you to make yeah. more money, you know. In, in fact, you burn more money by, 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 by doing all the funny things. So, so, so what makes you want to uh, contribute? And uh, it's a, it's a, it's a miracle, you know. You, you hold it for, for, and, and you hold your passion to help in the chat room, in the issues, you know, in the PR for, for such a long time, you know, like, like, like what we mentioned just now from January until now. I mean, people people do come and go and 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 join back and, and not really that active. You know, you 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 are one of the guys that really really active in 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 the group. So 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 what what makes you have this uh this uh you know what what makes you have this passion to uh, to uh, to uh, keep on helping the, the the chilling community and uh the code base. So, I think that's a that's a mix of uh, a few. A few reasons. Um, I guess the first is that I think this this project has a lot of a lot of potential. So um, I think the project is is really cool. It can do very interesting uh, stuff. It can be leveraged to do very cool research, and and part of it was, you know to help others to get into that because i remember when when i got into that i just looked around the code i looked around the documentation and i said what what the hell is going on i mean i i i can't understand the thing here i can understand how i mean where to start i don't know how to start so um so there are i think there are two kinds of people one kind goes to the documentation, start reading documentation, and tries to understand how it works through documentation. The other is, you know, just dives into the code and tries to understand it through the code. And uh, I'm kind of the second uh, of the second type. And when I saw the code, I, I said, oh my God, what, what's going on? It looks like, like, like several projects that were stitched together into uh, a, some big project, some uh, some umbrella project, but they don't cooperate with each other. They like like separate things. Um, and I tried, you know, to refactor some some parts and make things, you know, more consistent with each other, and uh, add comments. Uh, and the typing annotations and all of those, all of these changes should help people to, you know, you know, to get started. And uh, so, so like I said, I think the main motivation is because I think the project is very cool and it has a lot of potential and, you know, help others to, you know, to get involved, to get started with it. Uh, there is a lot more, there is a lot more work to do, obviously. Um, a lot of work to do in code and documentation and, uh, you know, welcome the others, you know, to get them started. Um, another reason for that is that I really like coding and I don't do that much in my work. <laughs> so uh, my work is mostly about, um, you know, consulting and um, um, you know, advising about uh, secure design and, and, and so on. Uh, it's less about, you know, actual coding. So uh, that's, you know, my hobby after after work hours. Is, is, is this part of your hobby too? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, that, that's, that looks cool. Uh, I, I, I don't have, you know, a room full of gadgets behind me, so I can't, I can't show anything uh, really, uh, you know, really cool. Uh, let me do that. And this, yeah, I think that should be better now. What, what, what time is it over there in uh, Israel? Uh, that's uh, 4.30 p.m. Okay. Uh, actually, I'm in the office right now. Oh. Um, we, work, we work Sundays. 
Okay. Uh, you know, Sunday is oh, uh, yeah. is a right, is a right, walk right. day in Israel. We walk Sunday through um, Thursday. Yeah, because Friday you guys got a uh, what do you call it Sab- Sabbath or something? Yeah, Friday and Saturday yeah, are the yeah, weekend yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Um, that Israel is one of the places that I wanted to visit, but you know, I I am a Malaysian and I'm holding a Malaysian passport. And so Malaysia- I, I don't, I don't know. I, I I'm not familiar with uh, with those. Uh, I mean, with 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 that kind of thing. So is it you know is it prohibited? You, you yeah, yeah 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 yeah. It, it's specifically mentioned in the passport. You know this this part. This Malaysian pass, my my passport, Malaysian passport, is not valid for Israel. <laughs> oh, is it coming from the Israeli side of the no no no? Story, it's coming from the Malaysian, the Malaysian side. side. It's coming from the Malaysian side. Let me show you. You know, if I'm gonna show you this passport, would they <laughs> would they ban okay. me from going back to Malaysia? Oh, okay. So you'll have to give up your entire life. Yeah, I think if I you want to, to come visit. I I don't know they they they, they I am quite sure they wrote it. Oh okay 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 okay. okay. Can you see that? No, you can't really. Uh, I don't yeah. know, kind of blurry. Yeah. yeah what what it, it says this passport is valid for all countries except Israel. Oh, they explicitly say yes. Israel. Yes. That's the only exception. Wow. Yes, that's the only <laughs> exception. That's that's so so. I mean, I, I cannot say mess up. Wow. It's, it's the country I born. I still want to go back. You know, <laughs> of course, I'm having fun in yeah. China, but I cannot say Malaysia is bad. <laughs> so uh, uh okay, uh, all right. Uh, what else? Uh, you were mentioning about uh, yeah. That 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 is the thing, you know. That the 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 job pay for the bill and the hobby is a totally different thing. So for for Asian parents, for Asian parents, uh, there's a very famous saying, you know. Asian parents always tell their kids, "You you gonna you gonna work in the place that you don't like at all, but you're gonna use the money to do something that you like." Well, many okay. people. That is, like parents, that. that is Asian parents, okay? <laughs> yeah, okay. So, so, uh, what else? Uh, any, uh, any, uh, I, I think this is one of the, uh, the, the questions that uh, I always love to ask uh, the, uh, the uh, contributor, you know? Well, uh, any uh, specific use case that, uh, you know, you, you, you discover from your day job or, or from, from, from your hobby, uh, any specific use case that uh, you really, really uh, impressed with uh, 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 cheating? Um, well, I I use it uh, in a side project of mine. Okay. Um, like I like I said, in uh, emulating a UEFI code or specifically SMM code, uh, which is kind of um, hard to emulate and you know and trace you can always reverse engineer it right but mm. um yeah. you know when you get the live debugging or uh, you know uh, all the feedback and you see uh where it jumps and 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 what are the registers values and the memory and and you know the memory content uh that's much 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 easier uh, so that that helped me understand the things uh, that I'm working on at work, uh, but actually I'm still working on um, a solid and and robust framework for you know for doing the fuzzing work that I'm that I'm looking into. Okay. Um, so I kind of uh, you know took uh, things and I was inspired by the EFI fuzz project, which is mm-hmm. which is really cool. Um, and, uh, you know, the guys there did a, a very great job. Um, um, but I need something a little bit, a little bit different. So, uh, I work on different aspects of, of that. But, but do, do you, do you ever meet up with the uh, Sentinel, Sentinel one guy before? I mean, one of those guys, one, one of the guys um, is in uh, Israel, I think. Uh, both of them are Israeli. I don't know if uh, if they live in Israel at the moment. One one of them uh, lives in, in US. Israel. One one of them in US and uh, one of them in Israel. I think I, I think it's in Jerusalem. The, the, that dude is in uh, Israel. I I'm not sure. I'm not sure at all. 
I mean, oh, okay. I'm, I'm uh, sure he's in Israel, but I'm not sure whether which city is he in. Oh, okay. Well, Israel is not that large, you know, not, not, not that like large China. country. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, that should be a problem to me. But no, we, we, we haven't met. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, we, you know, we met virtually to discuss, uh, you know, changes in okay. the... Uh, in the UFI subsystem in 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 chilling but uh you know we we haven't met like in person anyway the the uh, security scene in Israel is not that large so um you keep hearing the same names uh over and over again um so uh yeah i guess we we will we will meet eventually no i, I mean, guess the security scene in this world is not that large either you know, if you if you go into different conference, eventually you'll bump into a uh, same guy. You know, like 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 what we uh the same you know, the same we, people. Yeah, yeah. What, what we discussed uh, just now. You know, we we even got common friends. Yeah, and that dude is in Brazil. You are in Israel. I'm a Malaysian stuck in China, <laughs> and then that dude is in Brazil, and we do have a common friends. Come on. <laughs> yeah, that's a that's a small world after it, all. Yeah. It, it, it is a small world. It is a small world. Uh, uh, to to answer to answer your 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 question just now, uh, why chilling? It's not really your question; it's your comment. But you know, uh, I I guess it's uh, I I I've been uh, talking about this thing uh, uh, a couple of times uh, during uh during the conference uh, du during the earlier days uh, conference uh, especially uh, in uh especially in Saint Petersburg. Uh, zero nights when we uh, first announced our uh, chilling in uh, 2019 November uh, and then uh, I guess uh, it's it's pretty much a, a good thing for me to recap that the small little history for uh, chilling we if you look at the earlier version of the code which is not available anywhere right now it's we started with uh, one two three four five guys we started with five guys and then uh, I have this idea I said we need to have this uh, framework running. Uh, we, we do have a lot of good uh, emulation platform for x86. We have a lot of uh, instrumentation tools for x86. And uh, I, I told them, when it comes to IoT, when it comes to ARM-based system, ARM64, MIP system, this entire space is fucked up. We don't have a, a really good tools. I mean, we do have some GDB here and there, and then uh, we don't have good instrumentation tools uh, for, for, for all these uh, platforms. So I think we should build something. So we started with, uh, of course, we're going to start with a unicorn engine based on whatever relationship that I have with uh, Dr. Quinn. So we built with a uh, unicorn engine and uh, each of us will take one OS. So one of them took Linux, one of them took uh, Mac OS, you know, uh, Android. Uh, uh, we have uh, Windows. So what we did is uh, we wrote the hello we, we, we wrote the hello world to compile in Windows, we wrote the hello world to compile in Mac, we wrote the hello world to compile in Linux. Of course in Linux we have this uh, dynamic link library and then uh, we have this uh, static uh, library. Then uh, we wrote for all the targeted OS that we want and the targeted processor that we want and each of us code differently. One single Python code, one single Python code that import unicorns and uh, try to run that hello world binary. So that is our goal. So when everybody got their code running and we try to merge together, so that is where you can see all the funny codes here and there and all these things. And it's even worse, uh, it's even worse. I think we got our first round of, uh, we got our first, we released in 2019 November. That 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 time, um, the, the code is still very messy. Uh, and then uh, when the COVID started, Eventually, we got time to build some documentations. I think around uh, April 2000, uh, 2020, we start our first round of uh, refactoring. The code get a bit more cleaner. And then uh, I think around uh, when Lazy Mio joined, uh, that is around uh, July, August last year, he did another round of uh, refactoring. And you are the third round of uh, refactoring. <laughs> so if, yeah, I mean, if eventually we're gonna get better and 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 better and better. So <laughs> keep our fingers crossed. 
Yeah, well, at first I thought, hmm, this, this project named Chilling, I guess the Q stands for quick and dirty. Oh. <laughs> because it, look, it looked like, you know, a bunch of code uh, that was uh, stitched together and, uh, you know, wasn't, for, wasn't very consistent, um, you know, among all its parts. So, uh, you know, uh, one part could implement something in, in one way and, and, you know, expose uh, some API to it. And uh, another OS would do it really differently and expose a different API for that. Uh, there is no consistent way to understand uh, and, and, you know, and work with it. Um, so I thought that that would really essential if we want to welcome other people, mm -hmm. you know, uh, and and uh, to encourage them to use and really rely on that tool, then we have to do a better job with uh, you know with the code and the documentation. Yeah. Well, I think the documentation is one of the thing that it's gonna kill us somehow somewhere. Where we are, we are still we we update more or less here and there for the uh, documentations and. The, the documentation is more it's much more bigger mess compared to the code right now so yeah let's see let's see we, we, we will figure that out sooner or later we will figure that out sooner or later uh okay the the, the last question is supposed to be uh the comments and the future improvement for the chilling team and since you are now part of the chilling team so yeah we 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 talks about the the future improvement, you know, for for the documentation, for the code, and all these things, and uh and uh and uh, uh well, we we gonna work work closer. We go we gonna work work more closely on uh the new uh the new roadmap and, and uh all these things. Hopefully uh hopefully uh we will cover a more latest version of uh, Mac OS, you know, iOS and all these things that is always in the roadmap that we never cover. And Apple changed their kernel, the way how they load library and all these things are uh, every day. So I'm not too sure whether is that a smart decision for us to uh, to, uh, to, uh, to uh, maintain Apple or, or is that a better way to do uh, to do all these things. But uh, well, again, uh, again, again, uh, welcome, welcome to the, uh, welcome to the team. Hopefully, uh, we will do something great Thanks. together, you know, you know, towards, uh, towards, uh, this year, next year, and then uh, until maybe 14 years later, when these COVID cases stop, I don't know when, I, I'm not too sure when are they going to stop, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. Thanks. Uh, thanks for having me. Uh, that's, uh. That's really, that's really cool. Really appreciate, you know, the trust. Um, and uh, let's hope we could, you know, we could keep collaborate on, on, on this and keep, and keep that project, uh, you know, keep it, you know, keep improving it and making it better. Sure. All right, buddy. Thanks for your time. Thank you for your okay, time. Okay. Thanks. All right. See, see you. Okay. See you. Bye. Bye.